Hi everyone and welcome to this next video in our Flash game design tutorial series. Uh, at the moment we're looking at how to use ActionScript to help control um, different things that are happening in the game and in the last tutorial you were trying to figure out how to make the ball bounce off the, the four sides of the game area and this code here allows the ball to bounce off the bottom um, the bottom, the bottom what, of the game area. This bottom border here of the game area. Okay, this is where y is equal to 400. So this code here allows the ball to bounce, bounce. And your challenge was to get the ball to bounce off the other walls, if you like, of the of the game area. So let me just quickly show you my solution for this wall of the game area we know that on this wall the x coordinate is 550 okay so if ball dot x becomes greater than 550 if that situation happens we're going to reverse the x speed of the ball that's that will we're not going to mess around with the Y speed. We're only going to reverse the X speed. And if we play the game, we're going to look at the effect here. Brilliant. OK. And so you need some more code to deal with the other two walls in the game. I hope you've managed to figure that out. In today's tutorial, we're very quickly going to look at how to change the position of the player paddle. And it's simply going to follow the mouse cursor. Okay, so when I bring the mouse cursor up, the paddle will go up, and I bring the mouse cursor down, the paddle will go down. So we're playing with the Y axis here. Okay, now let's just do that right now before we talk about the second thing that I want to talk about. So this player paddle here, let's go into properties window. I called this player paddle here, I called it player. And I need to remember that name because that's what I'm going to be using in my action script code. And all I'm going to do in my action script code, within the game loop, by the way, within the game loop, doesn't really matter where you put it, but player dot y will be assigned the value of mouse y. And check it out. This is blue. Action script and Flash, they know exactly what we're talking about when we type in mouse Y. Understands that we're going to be using the Y coordinate of the mouse cursor. Okay? So when we play the game, look what happens. The player paddle is now following the mouse. I'm not clicking, I'm just moving the mouse. Okay? Brilliant! That was easy. Alright, the second thing I want to just quickly mention in today's tutorial is I'm just going to slow the game down for a minute and I want you to look very carefully at, at one aspect of what's going on here watch the ball when it hits the edge watch it watch it there half of the ball disappears watch again half of the ball disappears I don't want the ball to disappear from the stage the game area, I want the ball to bounce perfectly on that bottom edge, but it doesn't. Half of it disappears, look! And half of it will disappear. It's not bouncing perfectly on the edge of the game area. Now let me try to explain why. Do you remember way back in the beginning of all of this, we did this. We created a circle, we, we right-clicked on it, we converted it to a symbol, we gave it a name, we also chose a registration point and you were asked to choose a central registration point now let me explain what that means let's just get rid of that do you see that little cross there in the middle that is the registration point of this game object so in our action script code when we talk about ball x we're talking about that point there when we talk about ball Y, we're talking about that central point there. So, if I drag the ball to the bottom 
of the game area. Give me a moment. Where is it? There it is. I, sh I could zoom out, couldn't I? When we say if ball y is greater than 400, well, this is the y equals 400 line here, and we're talking about the registration point of the ball. So, just about there, that's when ball y becomes greater than 400. Not that point there, it's the center point of the ball. But I don't want that to happen. I want the ball to bounce there. Okay, so if y equals 400, and if I want the ball to bounce there, I need to take away half of the height of the ball. For example, if the ball is 20 pixels high, that means half of the height of the ball is 10 pixels, from there to there. That's 10 pixels. So I want the ball to bounce when the y coordinate of the ball is 400 take away 10. That will give me the perfect bounce if the ball is 20 pixels high. Let's imagine it's 20 pixels high. In fact, let's go back into action script and let's do that. If ball.y dot y is is um, greater than 400 take away 10. Let's do that. Control enter. Ah, I sh should I speed that up? We've got to be really patient with these tutorials. Okay, let's see what happens. Not bad. Still, some of it is disappearing. I'm going to say, let's say the height of the ball is 30 pixels. So half the height of the ball is 15. So let's change that to 15. Control Enter. So there's 400. It's going to bounce when, when the Y of the ball is 385. It will bounce. Ah, not bad. It just seemed to watch that closely. It seems to bounce just before the edge, not on the edge. Oh, I tell you what, guys, this is crazy. But check this out. I want to take away half of the height of the ball from 400. So I can do this. Look at that. Flash understands ball dot height. It, it knows what the height of the ball is. And I'm going to divide that by 2 and take it away from 400. And let's see what we get. Do we get a perfect bounce? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, it's a perfect bounce. So you know what your challenge now is, don't you? Can you figure out how to make the ball bounce perfectly off each of the four walls of the game area? Here, we still get an imperfect bounce. And also, can you, f can you put in the code for the player paddle? Have a go.